and introducing the Suzuki Superman. <laughs> You comfortable there, John? I am, but for a long journey, I don't think it'd be suitable. Especially for a taller guy as well. I think he'll suffer in the back. And what about the quality of the materials? Does it feel like a polo, for example? No, I wouldn't know. I guess I've got polos. That's what we're going on about now, I don't know. I don't what about the quality of the car? Does it feel like a, a VW, for example? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. Why? <laughs> It does need a footrest for the clutch foot. In my opinion, I think Suzuki really have the the weight and the feel of the steering bob on. Around sound, it might be argued it's a little bit heavier to park, but um, on a B-row such as this, it's a good compromise between sensitivity and uh, numbness. This is 1.2, remember. That's just been launched, and a 1.3 turbo diesel will arrive in January. This unit has greater torque and also horsepower, and better fuel efficiency than the previous 1.3. sensitive but you do feel the road as well and that combined with the the body of the car which is a lot stiffer than the previous Swift it all goes towards a better performance ride which in a budget car is saying something really impressed with the gear change on this Suzuki Swift. The uh, feeling of assertion through the gearbox and, um, and short throws, that is, the distance between gear, gear changes is short. It's a short, stubby gear stick, but also it does feel strong. There's very little play. It's not feeble at all. It does shame a lot of its competitors and also a lot of more expensive cars. Oh, being stylish, those wraparound lights do also illuminate the side of the road as well. Slight design fault here because the prop for the bonnet does clash with the water pipe here. Fuck out of character. 